Hello! Let's see if scene one is empty. It is. Oh, great. Okay, so... It's, uh... <laughs> been a really long time. No, not a new mic. Same mic. Uh, I might have turned the volume up a little bit, though. Not sure. Let me just get the rest of my tea out. Alright, so... I have been flooded with exams recently. So I haven't really been doing a whole lot of streaming. But I am done for a bit, so let's go back into that habit. Also, let me send out a tweet before I forget. So I found a game that's uh, Skateboard Tycoon, <laughs> and I don't know anything about it except for the fact that it involves skateboards, and you make things, and I think maybe you could skate on the things that you make? Sounds about right. Um... Past that, I don't know anything about it. All I know about Skateboard Tycoon is that I made sure it works in windowed mode. That's about it. Also, another note about Skate Park Tycoon is that if you put the disc in the drive, it apparently has a soundtrack that it wants you to play. I can't imagine it's going to be that great. Let's see, all 27 minutes. Track two. Is this even, is this music? Is this anything? No? Alright, well, I guess... Skate Park Tycoon... just... comes up as having a soundtrack, but you can't play it. Yeah! Track 10! Track... anything. No. All these tracks are lies. I should rip them into my library. No, I'm good. Close that. Yeah, it was the secret track in that one Beatles album. I should load it into Audacity. Maybe it's got some screams on it backwards or something. Let's see. Give me a moment, gotta set the window up again. Is this 666P? It is. It seems bigger than usual. Give me a minute. Let me just set this up. That's about right. Sorry, it's been a little while since I've set everything up here. I'm just trying to remember how it all goes back together. And... There we go. And, of course, the chat breaks, so let me fix this. Uh, captured layered windows. Alright. So, as it ought to say... Oh, wait, I never sent the tweet out, did I? Said I was going to. I never did. There we go. Either that or I just immediately forgot. Have I seen this game on Steam? I might have. Yes, I have. Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. Seen it, never played it. Um... It doesn't really seem like a very good streaming thing, because from what I understand, it's just sort of a shooter, and I don't really know what you talk about. Uh, what was I going to type? Oregon Trail, on whatever skate park... Oops, Skate Park Tycoon 2003 is. Apparently it also came on cereal boxes, which... Judging by the pedigree of uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, that's really not such a bad thing. I mean, some really good games have come in a box of cereal. You've got that. You've got um, Chex Quest, which I guess kind of counts. Oh, hang on. Oregon Trail's not loading. Everything is broken. Uh, Oregon Trail, where'd you go? Oregon Trail? There it is. Uh... Who wants to be a millionaire as well? That also came with it. Uh, Oregon Trail? I don't know where any of the files are. Data, I think. Is that it? Screen goes black. Obviously, that means it's working. Um... 
computers. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Very triumphant intro. Okay. Let's see. So this goes here. Right? And then we put the little text thing underneath. And then we go to the randomizer. Something like that. I don't have a copy of Chex Quest. I played it, but I don't own it. Uh, Oregon Trail. Hmm. Oregon Chat. This thing. There we go. I'll fill that in in a moment. Game is loud. Oh, yeah. Good point. Okay. Chat's up, game's up. This thing will be up in a moment. Volume's back down. Uh, let's put the colors up. Oops. There we go. Uh, no, we'll get rid of that. So sorry about the lack of streams recently. I've just been inundated with exams nonstop. It's not the world's easiest semester. But, uh, might be the last semester, so I guess I really shouldn't be complaining. Is that good enough? Volume-wise, by the way. Also, thank you for just subscribing. Hey, if I could get a degree in Oregon trailing or roller coaster management, I would do that. But as far as I can tell, there isn't really such a thing. Is there nudity in this game? Well, I mean, we don't need to buy clothing. Could always be nudity in this game. Let's see, Oregon. That's the original one. Oregon 2? Oregon... 2? 2? Slash 2? Why do I never remember what it takes to... Oh, there it is. Okay, Oregon slash two. Now I know. Alright. And let me make this a little bit bigger. Get the old randomizer up. You know, I got... Somebody a little while ago had sent me a second monitor in the mail that they didn't need anymore. And I first was thinking, oh, you know, what am I gonna do with this? I don't need all this space. Well, now... I always find myself running out of space, even with the second monitor. It's as if I've just found another problem I never knew I had. Anyway, welcome to the Oregon Trail 2. Welcome to the Oregon Trail 2 randomizer. Welcome to the first stream in weeks. Um, at least two weeks? Possibly three? Regardless, you can read all about the trail journey of Tim. That's me. A trail guide, which means probably going to be kicked out. Formerly a butcher who in May 1843 sent out from St. Joseph to make a new life in Oregon City. I don't know where that is. It's at the capital of Oregon. With cooking skills, $800 in cash, and... A large farm wagon worth $75. It's like the Ford Pinto of wagons. With Team Red, Blue, Pink, Green, and Subs. I know Salem's capital of Oregon. I lied. Oregon City is in Texas. I would doubt it. Might as well check. Uh, Team Red, 55 years old. Blue is 30. Green is 9. Pink is 7. Can subs be even younger? No. But subs is 12. So, let's assume red's the mom, blue's the dad, and green, pink, and subs are all of their kids. That mostly works out. And the wagon can be on a large train with eight hours a day and meager rations. Great. We'll just start eating some of the kids. I mean, it's kind of just food that we can use in an emergency, I guess. All right, well, I guess that's that. 
Let me just load up Oregon City on a map. It's offhand, I really don't know where that is. How far into Oregon is Oregon City? He wonders. Uh, Oregon City? Oregon. Oregon City, Ohio. Sure. That's the one. Let's just go backwards. Oregon City. Next to... Tigard? I don't, I don't know any of these places. Does this mean anything to anybody? Oregon City. And once we make it to Oregon City, we can do such exciting activities as... Uh... This, if it ever loads. Go get some Oregon insurance. Drive some Oregon cars. Pay some... Oregon fees, pay for Oregon parking, and do whatever this is. Toy tractors. See, we can just take all the stuff we brought and open a toy store. Quality farm toys. Oh man. Remember to pick up a bunch of crap along the way, guys. We might actually need it. Gotta stock the shelves somehow. Yes, I'm the person on the bench. Did I close the randomizer? Oh no, I didn't. Cool, I gotta copy all this stuff into the game. New game! Trail Journal of Stevie. You know, a real... real western name. There. Even better. Hmm... Maybe not. I don't even think that's a name. T-I-M-I-E. Uh, a trail guide, formerly a butcher? Uh, who in May 1843... That one. Set out from St. Joseph. I don't know where that is. Start new life in Oregon City. $725 cash, a large wagon, five people. Team Red. Uh, Team Red is 55. Team Blue, without a Y? Hmm. God damn it. Sure, close enough. 30. Nathan, Zachariah, and Emma. Team Red, er, excuse me, Team Green is 9. Team Pink is going to be 7. And Emma's 50. Just found this old lady, middle-aged woman, just floating around, added her to the wagon. That's how it goes. And team subs is... No, 12. Alright. Okay, and the capacity is 4,000 pounds, so... Let me make a note of that so I don't accidentally overload the thing. Like I sort of have a tendency to do. So, as always, as it says down here, change your color in the chat to red, blue, green, or pink by clicking the little gear and picking those colors. The blue. That's yeah, fine. It's mostly blue. Alright, and I guess... We are off from St. Joseph to Oregon City with cooking skills. You know, something I don't have at all in real life. Have I ever been in St. Joseph? I don't think I've ever heard this music before. The merchants here in town Hello. offer basic packages of supplies based on the size of one's- Nope. I got this. Oh, it's just the title theme, really sped up. Take a package, never. We're to do this ourselves. First stop, the Westerner Saloon, which How you doing? I can't get to. How you doing? Mm. How you doing? Wagon shop. Perfect. It's got pants, boots, apples. That's all I need. This is really upbeat music.
got to say. Uh, just shout out things we need to buy. And I'll throw them in the wagon somewhere. Bacon, fine. 400 and... Oh, I can't get 420 pounds of bacon. Oh, wait. There we go. Grandfather clocks. Biscuits. Mustaches. I don't think I could buy those. Where is the grandfather clock? All items. Is it furniture? Alright. Grandfather clock. Got it. Buy some china. Uh, we're gonna buy a bunch of stuff and no food, I bet. We need a coffee pot, I can tell you that much. And a coffee milk. And some canteens. I don't think we could buy peace pipes. Oh, ladles! I thought that said ladies. Huh. Yeah, I guess it'd be a little more than 12 cents. We can live on bacon. I don't know. We need at least some hammers and frying pans. I don't think I've ever used a fishing pole in this game. Anything. I already got bacon, yes. Let's get some pails. And some lanterns. And a pickaxe. And a pitchfork. And a pocket watch. And pot. And rope. More rope. More rope! Do we need a saw? Sure. Uh... Thermometer? Tin plate? Just one. Everyone else eats with their hands. Uh, water keg? I guess? I don't know if that's gonna be heavy. I don't know if it's full or not. Uh, food. So we have a whole bunch of bacon. What do you think about food? Biscuits? Butter? Anything you're calling to? Coffee, definitely. At least 50 pounds. Basil. It's not food. Can't even eat bear. Salt, butter, candy. Alright. Get some butter, get some candy. Just make a sandwich. Celery, salt. I wish it told me how much the stuff weighed. Am I keeping track of wagon weight? Uh, yeah. Definitely. Beans, crackers. That might be too many crackers. Hmm. Maybe just 20 pounds of crackers. Where have I been? I've been taking exams. I've just been exam city this week. Also, this music is fantastic. Gotta say. Let's got some dried bread. Increase morale of the party by feeding the ducks on the way. Get some ham, some honey, some lard. Is that too much lard? 100 pounds of lard? Nah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Was that 750 pounds of crackers? No, it can't be that many. That's only 100 pounds. You'll be fine. Onions? Pemmican? I don't know what it is. Might as well buy it. Maple syrup. Make all the Canadians feel at home. Do pickles count as vegetables? They do now. Get some potatoes. More potatoes. 20 pound sack. That's 200 pounds of potatoes. I'm sure that'll be a good investment. Rice. Uh, 300 pounds of rice. Or rhubarb. Salt pork. I, I have no idea how heavy this is. Also, I might have forgotten to buy oxen. But that's okay, because we have 50 pounds of yeast cake and vinegar. Delicious. We don't have the wagon parts, but we do have the wagon. She doesn't sell any wagon parts. Let's buy some oxen. Uh, two mules and a horse? Nah. Do we need mules? Maybe just one. 
Did I buy 3,000 pounds of rice? No, I didn't. I bought that. Oh. Uh. Huh. That is 3,000 pounds of rice, isn't it? Not 300. 150 times 20. Oops. Well, you can tell who failed calculus here. It's me. I don't know what we do with all of this, though. I can't sell it back. Guys, look, I made a terrible mistake. Take the rice. Open up a buffet when I get to Oregon. I'll try trading it later. Let me get a gun. Oh, I can't get one. Well, let's get some clothing. Hmm. What's a good ensemble? How about some boots? And some hats? Uh, let's not get the clothing sets. Let's make our own. Oh no, wait. This is all that's there. Hmm. Just hats. Let's get a bunch of hats, a bunch of mittens, uh, and some scarves. There. That covers up some of us. We'll just huddle together in the wagon for warmth. It'll be fine. Scarf, boots, long underwear, mittens. That's at least 10% of you covered up. With my math, that probably rounds up to 100%. Now I have to figure out what we have to do with 3,000 pounds of rice. Anyone? I've got a crap ton of rice. Wait, no. This is what you have. Hmm. Do we want any of this? Hunting knives, pounds of meat. I guess I'll take his oxen. Sure. I would love to trade. Two oxen for 400, 500 pounds of rice. Bullets would be good. Uh, I have to get a gun first. Let's see, do you have a gun? Dollars, Dutch oven, a fiddle! I want one fiddle. Ten scarves for a fiddle. A mule for a fiddle. 420 pounds of bacon. I don't think so. I'm using that bacon. Oh, that's it. Uh, it's kind of a lot of rice, but I'm probably, probably all right getting rid of 800 pounds of rice for a fiddle. Yeah, sure, fine. That's a deal. I'm gonna regret that. I don't need it though. Let's see. I need. James Fever Powder. You want rice? If you did, that'd be great. I've got enough rice for entire cities at this point. What do you want is beans, cheese, rhubarb, mittens? An ox for a box of fever powder. That's like trading your Ferrari for a bottle of aspirin. Do you have gun? Playing cards. Sure. Do you want rice? Do you want anything? Pickles? A grandfather clock for a deck of playing cards. I'm good. Let me go and get a gun. Oops. No, wait. Not ready to go. You bought all your supplies yet? No, no. wait. Some folks forget about some important items I know. that might prove right useful out on the trail. I'm not done. But tell me more. I might have forgotten something. Just about everybody buys food. Yeah, I didn't buy this. Clothes, or gun, this. Ammunition or this. and spare wagon parts. Hmm. But there's some other things you might want to take as well. Like this cold dead stare. Well, I wouldn't go without a good long rope or chain. Yeah, me which neither. Help in crossing rivers. Oh, oh, or rivers. going up and down steep hills. Huh. I'm gonna just leave you now. Howdy. Howdy. Where's the gunsmith? There you are. Let's see. Uh, I'm running out of money, so let's just get one rifle. 
Uh, some gunpowder. 100 pounds? And, uh, 100 bullets. That's probably fine. Alright. I don't have any spare wagon parts, but we'll just have to assume the wagon will last forever. Let's get some drugs from this guy. Let's see... Brandy. Ammonia. Aloe vera. In case you get sunburned, you'll just drink it. Allspice. I don't even know if that's a drug. I don't think it counts. Uh, let's get some camphor. Let's get some dandelion. Some cloves, some cinnamon. Can't live without those pumpkin spice lattes. Might even have all the ingredients on hand. Grease! Yeah, that's medicine. Fine. 100 pounds of grease. You never know. You never know. Uh, Duffy's Elixir, Epsom Salts, Iodine, Hydrogen Peroxide, Isopropyl Alcohol, I don't even know what I'm buying at this point. Everything. Mmm. Quinine, Peppermint. Nah, no peppermint. I'm content with just smelling. And 17 gallons of whiskey. And some tobacco. We need soap. One box. One box of soap. Better not waste it. Yeah. <laughs> you bought grease whips and chains. Look, it's a good investment. All we have to do is somehow get rid of another 1,500 pounds of stuff. Because I might have bought entirely too much rice. Let's see. Which wagon train do you want to go on? Nine wagons and 30 people? Seven wagons, 34 people? Or 13 wagons and 43 people? Train two, train three, train two, two, one, three. Some just subscribed, thank you. One, three, one, two. Uh, uh that one. Three. It says double guns. I hope this wagon works. Oh. I'll be damned. Wagon is 5,500 pounds and it works just fine. Morale is high. Put their one grandfather clock in tow. Pickaxe, pails, pocket watch. One single plate. <laughs> the most random assortment of garbage to bring with us. A mule. And a wagon. The important part. Great. You look, you might need 300 pounds of vinegar, okay? 16 feet deep. Let's cock that. I've been hired as trail guide. Good. Let's continue. Next time you have to drive for a long time, you're gonna play the soundtrack. I wonder if you could rip it. Team Green has suffered a concussion. Guys, it's been two days. What did you do? What's a guide say about concussions? Advice. Is it a disease? Not really. Cholera? Diphtheria? Dysentery? Nope. You have mountain fever. Hmm. Well. I bought too much grease and they slipped and fell. That's what happened. Keep him awake. He'll be fine. Keep him active. We'll just make him pull the wagon. Cold spring. Hello. Let's keep going. Uh oh. Let's move on. I think it's time we be moving on now. Fun. How's Team Green doing? Eh, the dizzy. They'll be fine. Shake them until they stop complaining about their concussion. That's good advice. Also, we ran into this kid. Oh, 
I meant to talk to you. Guess we'll never know what she says. Walnut Creek. I don't think I've ever been to Walnut Creek. We should ford this river. Should we? This river doesn't look too deep. Hmm. Let's ford it. Uh, what do you think? Conditions aren't likely to improve anytime soon. We should go ahead and cross the river. Okay, ford the river it is. Thankfully, this game makes all the pressing decisions for me. No, it's not my roommate, just people in the unit over from mine. Vermilion River. An especially blurry photo of it. I don't know what happened to my old roommate from the summer. He's just sort of gone. Oops. Oh no, 14 pounds of bacon! And another pound of bacon. Huh. Can I have advice? Ask some drowning? It horrifies me every time I witness an accident like that. <laughs> but we must learn from our mistakes to avoid similar incidents in the future. How? I knew we shouldn't have been going so fast through this kind of terrain. This water. If there are any injuries, we have to... Oh god. Team Subs has a broken arm. Exercise the broken bone? I'm sorry, what? Um, what is that? <laughs> I thought it said excise, as in amputate it, but exercise it? You just take the broken arm and shake it a bunch? Uh, <laughs> okay, you'll be fine. Do we still have the grandfather clock? God, I hope so. Guys. Guys, where's the grandfather clock? I think. Oh, okay, no. Grandfather clock is still in tow. Team subs. Discolored. In pain. <laughs> they're fine. Team red. Yeah, they're feeling good, despite breaking their arm. Or is that Team Green? I've already forgotten. Or is that Team Subs? No, Team Subs broke their arm. Someone else had a concussion. I forgot who that was, but they're fine now. So I guess it doesn't matter. Alright. Yeah, the clock's okay. Team Subs is only in pain. They'll be fine. Look. If you could feel your broken arm, that means it's still working. Big Blue River. That prove her a little tricky. What do you think? This river doesn't look too deep. Let's ford it. Okay. You got it. Uh. I guess we're taking the Oregon Trail. I mean, we are going to Oregon. I don't know where the Independence Road goes. You know, I haven't streamed in weeks, but I'm kind of amazed this single Vine For You spam has still been going. I thought it would have come up with something else. Check the map. I don't think we have a map. Well, I mean, we have to go west, so we might as well just go west. Oh, I'll get him. Boop. On the trail. That's a guy. What do you have to say? My dad burn wagon. My dad burn wagon. Back. It took me pretty near all day to find someone willing to trade me for a new one. A heap of trouble, this. What? Where'd the rest of it go? You're just walking with a wheel and a barrel. Tell me more. I guess. The fella sold me some green wood of some darn softwood tree for wagon that wheels. Bastard. I know I should have brought my own hardwood from home. But no, my partner had to have that fine store-made stuff out of St. Louis. Is your partner the barrel? What do you... Make no bones about refusing deals if and they okay. don't sound right to you. They's just a bunch of leeches on us poor immigrants. Huh. Make it yourself or buy it off another traveler. I... Yeah, I would like to trade. I would like a one blanket. Yes, please. 
Uh, I don't really need any of this, do I? If he needs wagon or uh, wagon wheels because his other one's broke, why is he trading me a wagon wheel for 16 pairs of mittens? Is that the exchange rate? One wheel equals 16 pairs of mittens. Who decides that? A mule. A fiddle. Ten hats. <laughs> One grandfather clock is equal to ten hats or sixteen mittens. Ah, I'm good. Like a mitten colony. Team subs is a bad cold. What do I do about that? Nation, we can't let a few coughs and sniffles slow us down. And Grandpa's not pleased with you, Team Subs. They'd better take care of themselves. <laughs> Bad colds can easily turn into something much worse. Yes, you could tell which character here is the mothering instinct. About the only thing you can do for a bad cold is get lots of rest and drink lots of fluids. Is euthanasia. Well, I don't know what vinegar's gonna do, but we might as well give it to them. I mean, we'll just distract them from the cold by the fact now that they smell. How's everyone doing? So Team Subs is coughing, it's got discoloration, a fever, headaches, pain, runny nose, sneezing, and a sore throat. I think they're doing just fine. And they're all, they're in fair health, I mean, it's not bad. It's average. This is how the average person is feeling at any given time. Just general pain. Who's around the narrows? I think it's time we be moving on now. Mm. Time is a wasting. Let's get out. I think it's time we. The only two people here. I guess so. You rub some dirt on it. Get some Nyquil. Well, we've got vinegar, and we've got brandy. And morale is high, so everyone's pretty satisfied that Team Subs is dying, I guess. Ain't this a glorious sight? I don't think I've ever seen anything mm. quite so sublime. Yeah, my wallpaper hasn't looked like this since XP. I hear they call this place the coast of Nebraska because mm. of the grand view of the Platte River Valley up ahead. No, not continuing this conversation. It's Nebraska! Find someone else to talk to. Bad mosquitoes. You know, for a bunch of hardened travelers, we really have arms like a fourth grade kid. Don't we? It's like we've never worked a day in our life. We can hardly sleep at night with all mm. these mosquitoes buzzing and biting. Nah, that's I me. wouldn't Sorry. advise pushing ourselves any harder. Let's go! Team Green has cholera. Oh no. <laughs> Honk for cholera. Oh, it's been so long. So red's feeling good. The blue's feeling good. Holy crap, green. Jesus. Cold, withered skin, dehydrated, muscle cramps, nausea and vomiting, sudden severe diarrhea, and thirst. All at once. Team Pink, they're fine. Team Subs, just discoloration and pain. So Team Green is just <laughs> kind of falling apart at the seams here. You know, fair health. Well, get advice. They need rest, lots of water, and some salt. And a mustache. Well, we're surely seeing the elephant now. I'm sorry, what? I suppose the only thing we can do is rest and take care of ourselves before this thing gets out of hand. I want to talk to someone who seems a little bit more coherent. It wouldn't be right to leave sick people behind. Hmm. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. But they've got cholera, they're not going to do anything. Ah, uh, Epsom salts it is. Well, we're at the Plum Creek. Plum Creek, excuse me. Let's see if Team Green's doing any better. No. Not really. I think Team Subs has been downgraded to okay. 
Or maybe okay is better than fair? I have no idea. Yeah, if you shoot them, then they're not sick anymore. Then you can leave them behind. What do you think? Back home, I used to enjoy nothing more than going hunting. All right. Now I can't hardly abide it. I'm all wore out from the traveling and take no pleasure in the chase. It reminds me, I haven't gone hunting yet. Last week, a group went out a hunting and didn't get back till quite late. Hmm. They got lost and only found their way back by the barking of the dogs. We have a mule. That's almost the same thing. Advice? Just follow your nose. Got it. If when you keep it pointed in the right direction, you'll accompany it to wherever you're going. That's great advice. I'll just go whatever direction my nose is pointing at any given time. Ever. Oh. You do not have any fire. Oh, no. I guess when we tipped the wagon, we lost the gun. Huh. Do you have a gun? No. Do you have a gun? Wait, is this the same thing? Nope, that's different. Checkerboard. I can't kill animals with that. Or a guitar. I don't think I can go hunt it with an axe. Yeah, this guy's just walking around with a bunch of skirts, some gunpowder, and a saw. Hmm. Butter, fish, gunpowder, hope chest. Anyone? Gun? Chickens? No. Rifle! For two oxen. That's kind of a terrible deal. 209 pounds of salt pork. Yeah, no problem. I just hunt for more salt pork. I'll go after the elusive hunt of the wild salt pork. If there's anything even here to hunt. Wow. <laughs> I've got awful accuracy in this game. <laughs> well, we got a squirrel. Does R reload? It doesn't. Enter reloads? Huh. No, enter moves the camera. Wait, the what reloads? I don't... Anything? There does not seem to be a reload button. Enter does the last thing I clicked. Oh, alright. That would make sense. Not gonna miss this time. There we go. Don't shoot myself. I don't even know how you manage to shoot yourself in this game. Unless it's like a 360 no-scope that went awry. Boom. Oh. Sort of? Yeah, I did shoot myself in the face with a shotgun once, and then I died. Yo, know, the worst thing is, we keep getting all that Vine For You spam. I tried to find the video that was so funny, I couldn't even find it. Those spam bots have got to do a better job. Hey, Mako Kanova. Oops. God damn it! <laughs> I shot myself in the face again. Well, note to self. No more no scopes. Uh. Well. Anyone have any advice? I've had me some experience with gunshot wounds back in the Illinois Frontier Wars. Alright. Let me see what I can do to help. That's not advice, though. You sure it was an accident? We don't want any murdering varmints hanging about. <laughs> Alright, guys. Fess up. Which one of you shot me? Which one of you murdering varmints? 
I've had me some experience with gunshot wounds. Gun sarn it. <laughs> Wouldn't you know some idiot would up and do something oh. like that? We can't let such things hold us up any. I'm not an idiot. It was an accident. Hmm. We ought to stop and rest for at least a day or two. A gunshot wound, even a minor one, can turn serious without proper care. I shot myself in the face. It's already a problem. We had best find a doctor. You just can't ignore a thing like that. You sure it was a... We ought to stop... Gunshot it. What? Um... I guess I will clean and dress the wound. I mean... These all seem like good advice, but I can only pick one. Rub salt in the wound? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That's an option. <laughs> Rub salt in the wound? Well, I better trade for salt. Oh, I can't. <laughs> that seems like the worst thing. Oops, shot myself in the face. Better drown it in salt. Like, why would that ever be legitimate advice? Use lard on the wound. I guess we don't even have any salt. Well, if I die, the whole wagon stops, so let's take a break for a couple of days. If I can find what the option is. Let's rest here. Yeah, three days. That's enough to stop bleeding, right? I'm alright. I'm bleeding. And in pain. <laughs> Nothing. Team Subs is also in pain, but it's a good kind of pain. Team Green's okay. Who's this guy? My brother commenced to farm in out west two years ago. He said a right. better wheat crop can't be had. I'm bleeding from my face right now. Do you have any advice? Try not to overextend yourself. Oh. If you're constantly going at an arduous pace, you increase your chances of someone getting sick or injured. I'm already dying. I know. Hmm. My brother come oh. in. I'm Natalia Nyasnyakovic. Wow. My wait. family is going to the big Pardon? valley in the I'm Natalia Nyasnyakovic. I'm Natalia Nyasnyakovic. My that's... family is going to the big valley that's in the a name. West, where there is so much good land. Uh do you have any of us? At the next hills or mountains we come to. We will share with another wagon to do what they call double teaming animals. Mm. Maybe that will work well for you. I'm still on like your name. I haven't moved past that part yet. How am I still bleeding? It's been three days. God damn it. Who are you? Come to the day to your friend. Name's Casey O'Neill, late of County Clare in Old Ireland. Uh what is that on your lip? I've heard it said that there are many cutoffs to take to shorten this uh -huh. journey. That by taking all the shortcuts, you can save many days on the trail. I, and why uh, not? Saving time and provisions is worth the risk. Uh, I'm good, thanks. Howdy! You know I've been tramping and trading in these yar mountains for near 20 Please, years. Please, tell me more. Thunderation! Thunderation! Last year, a young grizzly invited itself to breakfast. In the tassel, it bit me right on the shoulder. Oh, that's pretty I awesome. I reckon I'm not going to take that from man or beast. So I bit it right back. That thar bar ain't bothered a soul since. Bar? Um. I don't think this actually happened. If I think he's just drunk. If in some of your party drunk. take the scurvy, feed him a bit of raw wild onions. But why would... cure him. Works near well as fruit in preventing it, too. I too red holes, but I'm good, thanks. Oh no! Team Red has a sprained elbow. This seems a little too dramatic for that. Apply alcohol to the sprain. Um. God. It almost seems like a good idea. In the worst way possible. Fine. Let's get that sprain drunk. Am I still bleeding? Oh god. I have an unknown ailment. Bleeding, discoloration, pain, and reddening. That's because I shot myself in the face. Antiseptic? 
I'm gonna rest for a couple of days because if I die, the whole wagon just stops. Have I gotten any better? No, I haven't. Team Subs has been in pain this whole time. Everyone else is feeling good though. Except me. Alright, I'm gonna rest three more days, and if I'm not better by then, I'm just gonna go. Who's this guy? Good to see you, friend. Hi. You know, I spent some time out west, and now I'm traveling back east to fetch my family. I'm dying of a gunshot wound. Please tell me more. Hope you're prepared. You'll be seeing quite a bit of the elephant further on. Yep. Since your animals is already mighty worn, it's gonna be rough. I'll just pick my new elephant. Feeding is plentiful, and water is sometimes right scanty. Hurry along, but don't push your animals too hard. Ah, they're fine. You don't want to get caught by early snow. But it's if Ron you get too Weasley. hard with your animals, it won't carry you more than halfway. Oh, they're fine. Oh, man. I'm in good health. I'm only bleeding and in pain. Yes. What an improvement. And think about it. I mean, if I bleed the whole way there, this is my blood trail, but we know how to get back now. It all works out. Bleeding across the great American wilderness. I'm still not dying, right? I've been bleeding for almost a month straight. Where does it even come from? I'm playing Oregon Trail in the middle of a frat party. You're probably right. Two feet. What do you think? We should wait a while before crossing. I don't think so. Wagon stuck in the mud. Morale is high. I'm still bleeding. Apparently that makes the wagon party happy. Double team the animals. I'm a walking blood factory. Yeah, I just got sick with the disease that makes me produce a whole bunch of blood. That's how it works. California Hill. Ropes and Chains. Windless Hill. I feel like this is just the same side, or the other side, of California Hill. Well, Ropes and Chains, because... Why not? It always makes for a fun time. Who's around Ash Hollow? Oh look, it's Ash. Let's move on. Okay, thanks. Good help you were. Hey, I'm still bleeding. How am I still bleeding? It's been so long. I don't have any more blood. When did I shoot myself? Here, June 6th, 1843. I accidentally suffered a gunshot wound. Well, I have been bleeding non-stop since then. Uh, let's rest a couple days. Gotta put my blood back in. Well, still bleeding. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> my injuries have become infected. Huh. Well, I think we should probably get a new wagon leader. You say the wound's infected? Clean it up and treat it with sulfur. That sounds That's like an awful idea. You don't have to do anything special for an infection. What? It'll get better on its own. What is wrong with your face? And your suit and your everything. You say the wounds and You don't have to do- An infection requires cleaning, treatment with alcohol, <laughs> iodine or hydrogen peroxide, and fresh bandages. Which one of these people went to medical school, do you think? You don't have to do it. Duh. You say the wound's infected? Are we talking? If the wound's infected, 
We should take it easy. Yeah. Maybe rest for a few days. Yeah. If we're not careful, it could turn to gangrene. So, I just picked up an Aussie on the way there? I cannot rub salt in the wound. I guess it's antiseptic time. Hey, let's celebrate my gangrene. And the party suffered another couple dozen gunshot wounds. How am I doing? Bleeding, discoloration, pain, and reddening. <laughs> Happy gangrene! <laughs> Happy gangrene day, everyone. Subs has finally stopped being in pain. Everyone's feeling good except me. I guess we'll rest a couple days at Chimney Rock. Hope I don't die. Am I feeling better? No. I'm not. Well, I gotta get there. That's not how you say it. I'm American. That's how we all say it. As far as I can tell. Aussie. It's supposed to be Aussie or something with Z's in it. I don't know anyone who says it that way, though. Look. I've shot myself in the face. I'm dying. I'm infected. Cut me some slack, okay? I'm gonna say words the way I want to say them. Do we pronounce it with Z's? I'm new to me. Who's around here? I am Chi Chi Stas. Uh, My name is Counting Ku. I thought it was Chi Chi Stas. We are the Cheyenne. What? I am Chi Chi Stas. I am Chi Chi Stas. I am Chi Chi. I am Chi Chi Stas. Huh. My name is Counting Ku. To you, we are the Cheyenne. All right, please. I would love to know. What more do you want to know? Everything. You are traveling the Great Road West. Keep going on your way. My people do not mind you passing through our land, but do not stay here. Can you make me less infected? I'm kind of having a bad time here. Yeah, let's let's not trade him for blankets. That's that's a bad idea. Uh, I don't really need any of this. You know, we haven't run out of food yet. I can't rest here. Someone else is already in this area. Let's keep going. Oh. Find scenery around these parts. This here's Robido Pass. Yes. I hear it's named after a Frenchman, Joseph Robido. Oh wow, who, who could well have guessed? Well known in these parts as a trader. I thought he was Russian. Some folks say Saint Joseph, Missouri, was named after him too, but I don't rightly know about that. Well, it's not called Saint Robido. Can't say that I do. Can't say that I do. Can't say. Can't say. Can't say that I do. Well, I'm still dying. I guess we're just gonna keep going and hope I don't die on the way there. Oh, on the trail. Howdy, friend. Howdy. Fine day, isn't it? Least as fine as one can expect right now hereabouts. My gunshot wound is infected. But howdy, anyway. Be warned. Don't dig a water hole. Mm. Drink only river water. Salty as some of these rivers are, it's better than the cholera. Yeah? We buried my husband just last week. You don't really seem too shaken up about that, though. No more than I've already given you, but I could no more, no no more, no Let's get out of here. Laramie River. Oh, God, I'm still dying. It's not going that well. No, no one has cholera. Don't worry. The only person sick is me, and that's because I accidentally shot myself. Look, three days will rest by the river. I'll be fine. I'm... I'm not fine. Uh... Three feet. Seems pretty tranquil. Let's cock it, then. Fort John. This doesn't really look like a place. Looks like they just doodled it up in Microsoft Paint. Who's around Fort John? Is it John? This might be a good place to rest a while. What do you mean? 
I, I kind of know what he means. Just what I said. We've done <laughs> enough traveling for the time being. It won't hurt to stop for a day or two. You have any advice on how to stop? Yeah, listen to what I'm saying. Let's stop here to rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm excited too. Let's rest. And my gunshot wound is... Good! Ah, I feel so much better now that I'm only bleeding and in pain. Whew. It'll be great. Oh man. Full of patriotic pride. Howdy. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Hmm. We don't really have anything we need. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. How did we get five hundred and twenty-four dollars? We had twenty bucks. Where the hell did we get five hundred dollars from? Did we get reverse robbed? Like what <laughs> Don't question it. My gunshot is full of money. I bleed money. Yeah, it's insurance fraud. I shot myself in the face, got a whole bunch of money. Well, damn, let's buy everything. Uh, I don't think I need anything here. Do I need an anvil? No, but I've got money, so let's buy them anyway. Eight hammers, 14 pounds of nails, some pickaxes, a plow. Nah, I'm good. I'd spend something other, or spend my money on other things. I'm gonna buy out the store. I'm fairly sure once you clear the starting town, your wagon is never too heavy to move again. I want all of your candles, all of your butter, all of your oil and your coffee, your cornmeal and crackers, dandelion, your dried bread, hats. Look, it's economic stimulus. Oh. Oh, I gotta put the gunpowder back, but I will take a uh, hundred more pounds of grease. Matches. Yeah. I haven't set anything on fire recently. Let's stock up again on lard. Get some rope. Uh, we still only have the same one box of soap. No one's used it yet. That explains so much. And more whiskey. Great. Hmm. See so the medicine here. It's got turpentine. I can drink that and go blind. Get some salts so I can rub it on the wound if given the option. Get some salt pork so I could rub it on the wound as well. Is this in any sort of order? Doesn't seem like it. Oh well. <laughs> Next time I accidentally injure myself, I'll be sure to rub salt on it. You folks looking to do some trading? Oh, it's Fort Jane. Trading is one of the main things people do out here at Forts. We also don't blink. It's near a form of entertainment for some souls. Um, Keep a sharp right. eye out on your supplies and your money. There's I just got a crap ton of money from something. Here's that wouldn't mind relieving you of some of your possessions. Hmm. Do you need anything? Hmm. I want an oxen. Three oxen for a bunch of rope. Three oxen for one mule. I'll take it. And. Everyone's in good health. I'm in good health. I'm still bleeding. I'm still in pain. But I'm still in good health. 
It's a nice, warm, fuzzy kind of pain. That hunting accident still is not healed, and it's been a month and a half. Wait. Why... why has there been... no progress? Wait. Hang on. Why is the wagon not moving? What? Um... Wait, we still have oxen, right? I didn't trade them away accidentally. I didn't. Right? That would be dumb. I didn't trade all the oxen. No, no, we have 14. So... Okay... I take back what I said about the wagon never being too heavy to move. I think I might have overloaded it a bit. Uh... Alright, what do you have? Dollars. Nine dollars for 92 pounds of ham. Uh... Let's see, that's 150 pounds. 300 pounds of cornmeal for nine dollars. Alright. Slow going, yeah, that's fine. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Not again! How? This is the third time my injuries have become infected. Three times! An infection requires cleaning, treatment with alcohol, iodine or hydrogen peroxide, and fresh bandages. I don't have any salt to rub on it. Antiseptic? Who's around? I say we continue on our way. I'm dying. Help me. Oh. <laughs> Call me a gang greenhorn. Uh. Hopefully the thick dust does not make my gunshot infected. Bad mosquitoes. Pfft, whatever. Broken yoke. Uh, I get some advice. If you can't fix the yoke and you don't have the spare, maybe someone around here can trade you for a new one. You know, you almost had some flow going on in that first part. Ox yokes probably wouldn't break if we weren't pushing the animals, so. Ox yokes wouldn't break if you were pulling the wagon. If you can't fix the yoke. Ox yoke. If you. Ox. If you. Just you two. Let's fix it. Nope. Let's trade. 88 pounds of coffee beans. I don't think so. A rifle? A fiddle? A whole bunch of crackers? If I didn't want to trade for 26 pound or 26 lengths of rope, why would I want 34 lengths of rope? No! Just take something heavy. No, no, not 53. You can't have more rope. That's twice as much as what you asked for initially, and I said no. No, you can't have 55. Fine. Whatever. 200 pounds of crackers. Extreme heat. Well, I'm still dying from my gunshot wound, which has been bleeding. Okay. For almost two months, I shot myself June 6th. It's July 28th. It is still bleeding. How? There shouldn't be that much in me. We're in need of a good rest. I'm plumb wore out from the travel, and the animals are in want of extra feed. Look, I've been shot in the face. Don't tell me that you're tired. Some folks is all worried, afraid we might get caught in the winter snow. It's the so middle of summer. Rome wasn't built in a day. And one more day on this trail ain't gonna make a bit of difference. Do you have any advice? Take the hurry out of your step. We'll get there soon enough. Ugh. The trip won't get any easier for all our rushing along. Look, my leg's gonna fall off at this point. Everything I have is infected. Tim has taken a turn for the worse. You don't have to do anything special. God, this is your fault. It'll get better on its own. Everyone, gather near me. 
Need your companionship one last time. Let's take a rest. I will rest for five days. Come on. Lend me your strength. Oh, hey, I stopped bleeding! Holy crap! I'm just discolored now. <laughs> Can you eat my corpse? Oh yeah, go for it. Well, hope I don't die. Let's rest three more days. I ran out of blood. <laughs> Good day to you. If you don't mind, I'll stop and rest a spell. We haven't moved in ten days. We don't need to rest anymore. Go right ahead. We set out on the trail a while back, hoping to reach the new land. Mm. But as you may know, my oldest boy perished in a wagon accident back a ways. Oops. And I've no greater desire now than to return to my folks back in Philadelphia. You've been here for us. Be very, very careful going down steep hills. Mm. That's how my son was killed. You're really not that bothered by it. didn't take the proper it. precautions and, well, forgive me, but I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. Hmm. Pardon? Be very, very careful going down Do you steep want to talk hill. about your dead son? No? Howdy, I'm looking for my cat Molly. Have you seen her? Uh... Seen her? She was delicious! Let's go. Well... I'm still suffering from discoloration and reddening. But that's okay. I'm not bleeding. I'm no longer in pain. I guess that's a good thing. Natural bridge. Who's around here? I think it's time we be moving on now. God damn it, you show respect for that bridge. Molly's my real mother. I'm part cat this whole time. Oddly enough, morale has been high this whole time. Which is really bizarre. Oh god, I'm feeling okay. Wow. I think I'm actually going to make it. That's the first time in two months that I'm feeling okay. Let's see. Three feet. Let's cock it. It's time to celebrate. And <laughs> now go hunting. <laughs> sure. Let's celebrate. Celebrate the end of my tragic hunting accident by going hunting. <laughs> I mean, you're not gonna get into two hunting accidents, right? Yeah, if I shoot myself over and over again, it'll be fine. I'll just run out of parts to shoot. Perfect. And no one even got injured. Also, there's alkali water, which might mean something. Hey, everyone's in good health. We're all feeling good. Somehow. At Devil's Gate. Hey, let's just continue right into Devil's Gate. Yeah, I think I completely recovered. Rocky Mountains, also a bear. Hmm. These mosquitoes are driving me crazy. Great, let's go. Wait, what did I pick? Did I pick the deep salad root? What did that say? It doesn't even say. Saw some Indians in the distance. No incident, but some concern. If you're racist. Had a pleasant talk with Miss Whitney today in the vicinity of Devil's Gate. <laughs> That's where I have all my conversations. Note to self. Miss Whitney seems to be 
growing horns and talking more about acquiring the souls of the damned in casual conversation. Please be advised and notify the rest of the party when the opportunity presents it. There. Now I know. Did I say advised? I should say advised. Well, whatever. It's 1843. I don't have a dictionary. Two and one half feet. Yeah, it'll be fine. It keeps talking about this Alucard guy. What about red rum? I don't know. Where do I go? Head west. Oh. Thanks. Uh, I guess it's this one. No, wait, that's east! Stop! <laughs> go the other way. No, <laughs> turn around. <laughs> Team subs is a bad cold. Uh. They better take care of themselves. Hmm. Bad colds can easily turn into something much worse. It's like gunshots. I think we ought to stop for a couple of days. When people are all tuckered out, they tend to get sick, like this. Ah, uh, yeah, have some vinegar, he'll be fine. Deep sand root. Team Green is cholera. Oh no. Well. Well, we're surely well, seeing the elephant now. But I suppose uh, the only thing we can do is mm. rest and take care of ourselves before this thing gets out of hand. I honk for cholera. Oh god, there goes the chat. <laughs> we had best find a doctor while most of us are still healthy. I'm a doctor. Let's salt him. Quicksand ahead, what? <laughs> um, put the weakest animal up front? How does that help? <laughs> Sacrifice the crappiest oxen. Sand like this turns into quicksand only after heavy rains. Um, if we wait a few days, all the quicksand should dry up. But can we throw you in? Like, what are we... Uh, I don't think there's any quicksand through here. God, you're the worst person. No fruit. I... Stop resting. Oh, God. Oregon, come back. No vegetables, no fruit, no grass. Animals exhausted. Um... A double team. We gotta get fruit. You. Fruit. Fruit and vegetables. Dried vegetables. I want. Uh... uh I can't trade that for coffee. A fiddle for a hundred pounds of dried vegetables. Uh... Quinine? No, don't you dare take my grandfather clock. Two oxen, I clock. Twenty-one dollars, you have twenty-three. Yeah, sure. Just gotta get some fruit now. Hey, Blissful. I've just been loaded with exams recently, haven't had that much time to stream. Horses? Kettle? Lanterns? How much for a horse? One horse! Five oxen! I... What? One horse for all of my oxen. You don't have anything I want for it! Fine. I didn't want them anyway. I really need some fish, though. A rifle or shotgun sheath? Is that what I need to stop shooting myself when I go hunting? I wonder. It never gave me the opportunity to buy that. What am I gonna do with the rocking chair? <laughs> One rocking chair for three pails. Sure. Please, please have fruit. Uh, turpentine? No. No. Crackers for fruit. It might be a good idea. 16 hats. For 120 pounds of fruit. 
Nah, even trade crackers for fruit. Why not? Sell my body. I don't think that's an option in this. Alright, we're good. Except I think we might be going backwards. Uh, didn't I just cross this? No, go, go that way. We're going west. I... Head west. I know, but... Which is west? Is it the three crossings route? Does the guidebook have directions? Uh... Shortcuts? Indian peoples. Uh, let's see. Is the South Pass West? Sure. That's not even South. It's North. Rocky Ridge. Hmm. Well, crazy. 4321, that's because League of Legends is an impossible force on Twitch that just sort of absorbs every other gaming event, I think. It's just this conglomerate. Uh, eh, ropes and chains, why not? Really dramatic, heavy fog. Ah, whatever. Final Sweetwater River Crossing. Morale is high. And no one's sick. And that one bout of cholera went away pretty easily. Amazingly enough. Uh... Yeah. No. Also, here's a picture of a bear. <laughs> Alright. I need to appease the bots. Fine for you. When you open a pack of gum in class, ha ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Uh. There, I did it. Pacific Springs. Hmm. What do you think? Fine scenery round these parts. Yeah. Good day to you. Hello. My name's Helen Whitney. My family and I are from Atlanta, Georgia. I forgot how to blink. California. Tell me more. We had a profound religious experience. No, really, she hasn't blinked once. And came to the realization that slavery is a terrible evil. All right. We freed our servants and decided to move west, where there is no involuntary servitude. I decided to sell myself into slavery to make it up to them. My guidebook says that here at Pacific Springs Please is the blink. last good water we'll find for the next ten miles or so. We're entering Alkali country. And game will be getting scarce too. Um Okay. Let's move on. Okay, fine. I'll do it. The dry sandy. Right next to Pacific Springs, which is now a dry sandy. She is constantly vigilant to the terror of slavery, and she never blinks. <laughs> Abandoned wagon. Why would you ignore it? Unless it's rigged to blow up, but I don't think there's anything like that in this game. I don't think that wagon's a car bomb. Hire some Indians to help. We'll guide you across the river for one fiddle. Um, why? One ox, one rifle, or 600 feet of rope. Uh, I don't really want to give away any of this. No, no, you can't have eight oxen, nor nine. We will guide you across the river in exchange for everything you own. Um... 63 pounds of coffee. 
Okay, fine. You can have some of the rope. Death. <laughs> this is how racism is born. Those Indians. If there are any injuries, we have God, to there better not be any. Properly. We don't want them to get infected. All right, we're fine. I swear, the grandfather clock better be here. Okay, it is. We have two dollars to our name. That's it. We're almost there. Look, it's the church butte. I say we continue on our way. I'm gonna look. I think we ought to. No. I think it's time we. No one. I say we continue on our way. God. Fine. Name rock. Um. Is that really a thing? Let's keep going. But. Oh, fine. <laughs> Give it a name. All too late. Who's around Fort Bridger? At every fort are trading posts mm. along the trail. Prices have been higher than at the previous place. This is outrageous. Goddamn inflation. They're taking advantage of us. What? If I had the chance to do it all over again, what is this I'd accent? buy more supplies at the beginning of our journey. It's like equal parts Midwestern and... Scottish? Well, we might as well get what we need right here. I... Goodness knows it'll probably be even more expensive further down the road. Uh, alright. We don't need any supplies. Oh, pfft, what do you know? I wanna go buy something just to spite you. About two dollars. Oh. What do you have for two bucks? I'll buy a pickaxe. Boom. Well, let's get to Oregon with 14 cents to my name. Salt Lake alternate route. I... I don't know where this goes, so... Might as well. Just make a beeline for the Great Salt Lake. Bear River. Are you bear? Yes, neighbor, it's a sorrowful man you're meeting. Huh. I'm a heading back home with the children. Tell me more about your children. My wife took the cholera and died. Well, she shouldn't have My done that. My youngest child was crushed after falling from the wagon. Oh, God. I'm turning home with a heap of sorrow. Um. We really should put backup cameras on these things. Makes no sense going on. This road has cost me dear, and I hear say till now has been the easy part. Turn back while you still got your people. What? No, no. why what would calamity I? Will hit you before you reach the new country. Yeah, you're like a hundred feet from Oregon, but pff, turn all the way back. You're fine. I want to talk to somebody else happier. Hello, stranger. Hey. I'm Martin Isaacs, originally from New York City. Wouldn't know it from looking at me now, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Tell me more. A man offered me a grand opportunity to see the world. And crush his children. Curious I mean, places they're, they're and benefit my mind and pocket. So I signed up for this journey. I'm a city boy. Dude, look at didn't know what I was getting into. This river looks like it could be treacherous. The cattle mm. don't seem any too eager to cross. Well, they're cows. We may build a raft and try taking them across that way. I don't think I'd try fording, but I'm not always the best judge of that. Well, you don't ford the Hudson or anything back home? We ought to take the covers off our wagons before we start across. What do you mean? There's a touch of wind today. I hear the wind can catch a hold of the cover of a wagon and tip it over in the water. I feel like this guy's got at least three or four different voices throughout the course of the game. Ain't you got no ears? I just ain't you got ain't you got ain't you got no ears? Hmm. I just told you what I thought we ought to do. Oh. I'm not gonna ask the Indians for help again. They already sunk the wagon once. The needles. Hey. Keep back. You ain't a passing us. We got no wish to be eating your dust. I think this is somebody else's mustache that just sort of stuck on him. I ain't gonna tell you nothing. I maintain a suspicion of folks that's too inquisitive. Do you have any advice? Just keep back there where you are. 
I don't know when to stop asking questions. Us, there'll be trouble. Just keep back there where you just just keep just keep back. You ain't a pa <laughs> I say we continue on our way. But I'm supposed to keep back. My brother commenced to farm in out west two years ago. Here. It's a loan stash. He robbed a uh, party supply store before he came here. Hello. 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 Let's keep going. I think we ought to keep fine scenery around these parts. Hello. 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 Let's. Hello. All right. Done with that. Sorry. Uh, what do we do with the rocks? Do we continue over them or we wait for the rocks to just sort of melt? I didn't know you could have email verification for chat. I didn't know that was a thing. Use the $2 pickaxe. You're right! Oh. That's why it's a $2 pickaxe. I'll just wait for the rocks to melt. Another group of emigrants did it. Good job. Pays to be lazy. The Weber River. How's it snowing? It's October. River's frozen. Let's do it. Pratt's Pass Canyon. Where am I going? This way? Over it? Well, ropes and chains. It's my answer to everything. Well, what have we here? <laughs> Some more eastern greenhorns trying their luck at crossing the wilderness. Ah, uh, tell me more. <laughs> I ain't got to say nothing to you if I don't want to. Oh man. None that I'm prepared to offer you. None, none that, none that. Back home. Can I someone be nice to me? More than going hunting. Now I no. can hardly abide it. I'm all wore out from the traveling and take no. I already talked to you. Back home. I think we ought to keep going. Well, what have we here? I ain't got to say. Hmm. Well, what have we here? Well, well, well. Out of here, Dixie Hollow. I just do ropes and chains on everything, and I was just about to say it all. Way. Oh God, the grandfather clock. Oh no. We have to get another one. A wagon accident. Well, I figure we're seeing the elephant for sure now. Duh. Give me the craft for the clock. Someone, someone has to have one. You? I want a compass. Grandfather clock. It may not be the same as the old clock, but it's better than nothing. No one? Does no one have a spare grandfather clock? Hmm. A milk cow. For 12 oxen. Excuse me, what? Uh. It's over. We made it this far. Gunshot wounds, disease, but no grandfather clock. I don't think anyone has one. Better just get the rifle and end it now. I'll just get a, po a box of nails. Totally the same thing. Yeah, I think we're done. In terms of grandfather clocks. Yeah. I guess I'll just get a pocket watch and pretend it's the same. It's like a little grandpa. Who's around here? Howdy. Name's Austin Billings. I'm traveling with my wife Sophie. We hail from Texas. Is she a grandfather clock? I bought my way out of slavery working as a part-time cowhand, and Sophie was a free woman who earned a living as a seamstress. I sold them my pocket watch, did I? 
Prick much like everyone else, I reckon. Some people push themselves too hard. I'm gonna push a grandfather clock. Oh, you don't have one. No. I, I just don't think we have any opportunity to get a grandfather clock ever again. No one's got any. Well, I guess I'll just buy a guitar and sing the grandfather clock blues. Little Dutch Hollow. It's the first crossing without the grandfather clock. Check the hill's condition. Yep. That's a hill. Oh, no meat. Probably should... Uh oh. I don't have any gunpowder. Hmm. Do you have gunpowder? Don't. No. Gunpowder? There we go. For 13 hats. For 10 hats. 13 pairs of mittens. You know, we haven't had clothing at all. This entire time, all we've had are boots, hats, and scarves. That's it. No pants, no shirts, nothing. And we've been just fine. I mean, aside from the grandfather clock. What is that? Is that a deer? A really big squirrel? Hmm. You gonna walk more than two feet into the frame? Please? No? There we go. That worked out. Is that a horse? Well, I guess we'll find out when we eat it. Hmm. That might be too much food. But I'm grief-stricken from the loss of the grandfather clock, and this is how I cope. Yep. Alright. 391 pounds of game. Big mountain descent. Sure, I guess. Little mountain. No descent, though. Pleased to see you. Hey. You folks missed a good time last night. Another train camped close by, and we had a bit of a dance. I declare, hmm. my tired feet came to life hearing that fiddler. We have a fiddle too. A plenty. It Just feels no clocks. nearly like back home to have neighbors and a gathering. I've made some dear friends whom I hope will continue to see in years to come. Partake of a bit of music whenever it's offered. Never. I need to partake in a grandfather clock. Hmm. I don't want to dump. I'm really bummed we lost it. <laughs> it's like I lost a friend. I cared for that grandfather clock like a child. And then the thing tipped over and we just haven't had it. And Subs has a cold, but I don't I can't buy a grandfather clock. I have 14 cents. I'll give him vinegar, they're fine. Steep Hill. Is that really a name? Last chance at a grandfather clock? Oh god! Ten oxen! Oh man. I want to. But that's kind of everything. No! 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 Wait! Go back! Grandfather clock. No! <laughs> 14 oxen. 
but I, I can't give you all of them. Guys, I... She's not gonna give me the clock. <laughs> it's lost forever. Why can't I call her back? Oh... I should have done it for... 10 oxen. Never getting that clock back now. We should have just shot her, and robbed her of the grandfather clock. Yeah. Oh well. If you don't have one, we're going. Nope. I'll just buy a skirt for the a skirt for one ox. I was gonna get one as a novelty, but. Uh, it's a little too expensive. Oh, god damn it. Um. There we go. She will reappear. Will she? It's too late. We lost something. Morale is still high, despite the fact we tip the whole wagon over and lost everything. I think the people you get are random. I don't think it saves what everyone's trade loadout is. <laughs> yeah, the Indians tipped it over. We don't have shoes, do we? Oh no, we have boots, it's okay. I'll get a hope chest. It has no hope in it. After we lost the grandfather clock. Wait, how was going to the Great Salt Lake supposed to get us to Oregon? How does this help us? This... This seems like a terrible way to go. We just had to go this way. Why, why did we... Alright. Hell of a shortcut that was. I'm the trail boss, I took a wrong turn. Yeah, I'll just turn the wagon around and we'll go all the way back. Two and one half feet. Let's ford it! And check for grandfather clocks. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Nothing? Oh well, off we go. Yeah, morale is high. No fruit, no vegetables. Probably should get some of that. Do you have fruit? Well, rhubarb is kind of a vegetable. Dried bread. I can't eat beads. I need some fruit. Dried vegetables. That works. 50 pounds for 68 pounds of meat. Yeah, sure, I'll shoot more. And... Did I treat fruit? No, it was vegetables. Fruits. Fruit, fruit. For Grandfather Clark! Oh, 13 oxen! Oh no. D d do I? Do I do it? That's. <laughs> Alright. Alright. We lost 13 out of the 14 oxen, but we got the grandfather clock back. No, if I haggled, she would have asked for all of them. Does anyone have fruit? No one? Oh, there you go. Three pairs of boots. Vinegar, fine. 
All right, let's go. No progress. Oh, I think our one oxen isn't enough to pull it anymore. <laughs> uh, anyone, hey, anyone got a spare ox? For a bunch of rope. Yeah, sure. And who's this? Buen dia. My name I've is never Josefina seen you before. De Panicello. I am traveling to meet my husband in Texas. I met him on the internet. We are taking a long road so that I may see more of this beautiful country. I forgot to roll that R there. He preceded me there to establish our new rancho near Pasa del Norte. Everything is now ready, so I go now to join him. I am reading from my a script. My husband is a wealthy man with a great deal of land and many herds of cattle. Yeah, come back to me when you say he's got a grandfather clock. Do not be misled into thinking your good fortune lay in gold or silver. It lays in bitcoins. Precious metals are a scourge. Oh. Land is the only sure source of wealth. When you reach your new home, she wearing a tiara or hardy crops. People need to eat. That is the true path to success. Great, do you have an ox? Please? No. No one. Buen dia. My name do not be mis Please, please have an ox. Oh god. This wagon's never moving again. What do I use the tourniquet and the suction method on the snake bite? Sure. Get over here, green. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Guys, we really have to move the wagon. Oh, the kid has a grandfather clock. Now everyone has grandfather clocks. And no one has oxen. You, ox, for one grand. No. 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 We're not doing this. A fiddle. Okay. Please. An ox for a rifle. No, you can't have the clock. No! I traded 13 oxen for that grandfather clock. You're not getting it for one. Fine. We'll just go. How's Green doing? Well, Green has got blurred vision, disorientation, dryness of the mouth, nausea and vomiting, pain, slurred speech, swelling, and internal bleeding. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a typical college frat party, then. I don't know what to do for them. I guess we'll wait here for a couple days. Morale is high. <laughs> Regardless of that whole thing. How's the river? Appears extremely treacherous. Oops. No, my yeast cake and my pocket watch! Is the grandfather clock still here? Please, don't let me lose the grandfather clock. Oh, okay. We really don't have anything left. There's nothing. Running out of food. I hit a bear. Look, we don't need the pocket watch if we have the grandfather clock. Okay. The grandfather clock is the focus. How much are the various animals worth? Nowhere near enough. That's probably enough. Muddy Trail. Team Green is feeling okay. Despite the fact it seemed like they were dying a minute ago, now they're just fine. Things are looking up. Good day to you folks. My name is Philip Maddox. I'm an artist with this surveying expedition. Howdy. The U.S. government has commissioned us to map the land and to bring back some illustrations of the Indians, as well as really the plant and animal mouth. life hereabouts. Check your supplies often. Can't stress too much the importance of that. Sorry, too busy starving to death. Raft River, which I guess we're not doing anything with. No fruit, no vegetables, rough trail. Whatever. 
I will take some fruit. I don't even know what to trade. I mean, no, you can't have the grandfather clock. A rifle? I, I'm using that. A pocket watch. Okay, fun. Let's get some vegetables now. Uh, Oregon Trail 2 on Windows 7 works just fine. That's how I'm playing it. Uh, pickles are vegetables, but I don't know if they count. Dried beans. Twelve hats. No! You can't have my grandfather clock. Twelve hats. Two oxen. <sighs> um... Guess my hunting days are over. Let's trade away the rifle for a hundred pounds of beans. Oh, god damn everything ever done. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, I don't have an ox to trade. No, no, I don't have three oxen. God damn. I, I need that. No, no, no. Uh, fine. No progress. Oh, God. I need an ox. For 12 hats. Fine. Everyone, take your hats off. Come to the day to your friend. Names kiss you. No. I've got no enthusiasm for you and your accents. We lost everything for the clock. City of rocks. We're gonna make a city of clocks. Yeah, I can't even shoot myself because we traded the whack, the uh, rifle away. How is morale high? We don't have anything. How are we having fun with the coffee mill, a coffee pot, but no coffee? Two hammers, four hatchets, and a frying pan. Some boots, a saw. How is any of this fun? Some grease, some tobacco, some turpentine, and some beans. Put all that together, it's a good time. Let's take the Oregon Trail. It's kind of the name of the game. Extreme cold! Could I have advice? I recommend that we halt the wagon train for a time being, mm. and warm ourselves around the campfire. I recommend we burn your guitar. Oh, I don't care about the animals. Deal with it. Oops. Ugh, oh, this ox. God damn it. Uh, I get advice. We ought to stop for a while. The animal may yet recover. It'll recover if it walks. Let's go. Oh, no, it's not moving. Please. No, I don't want a table. I don't need more boots. One ox. No, you can't have the clock. You can't... You, you can't have... Oh, they're gonna need the clock, aren't they? We're never getting that back, are we? Maybe I can get the rifle back. And trade. And then I'll shoot things. And trade that for an ox. Kid, can I have my rifle back? It was a mistake. I don't need socks. Rifle. No! No? Oh. That's a terrible deal. You don't have any firearms. Um. Well. I think we might be screwed. I don't care. Continue. Go. Walk. It doesn't matter. Dump everything. What's heavy? What do we even have? I was thinking... Uh, I guess we don't need 130 pounds of grease. Nor do we need all this whiskey. I mean, we, we need it, but... Uh, 
coffee. It's not that heavy. Grandfather clock. We don't need this hope chest. We have no hope. It's all gone. Is that enough? Oh, it still doesn't even go. Howdy, partner. Good to see you. Can you pull my wagon? Like our poor stock, I'm plumb wore out. Uh, ox, ox, ox. Howdy, oh, like our. Po Oops. Howdy, oh, like our. Po Oops, hang on. Howdy, oh, long. Oxen? Nope. Well, this might have gone really badly. Three oxen for a grandfather clock. Guys, I... I have to do it. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. I want you to realize that. I don't... I don't want to do it. But... I have to. I have to. I'm doing it. I'm doing it! Six oxen... for the grand fi Why are you not moving?! Okay. Missing livestock. I don't care. Caldron Lynn. I don't. What is this? I say we continue on our way. I can't. <laughs> Team Red is suffering from coughing, headache, runny nose, sneezing, and sore throat. I guess increased fluid intake. We don't have anything else. We don't have any more ropes or chains. God damn it. Oh, how do we lose two pairs of boots? Team Green has suffered internal injuries. Well, it's morphine time. Low food, slow going, no meat. Please, I want my rifle back. Five oxen! Five oxen! Are, are you kidding? Five oxen for a gun? No! You... The, God! Monsters! We're dying! You can't just let me borrow the gun? Please, anyone. I will trade you one ox for the gun. <laughs> 